I suppose you're wondering what you're doing here. It had crossed my mind. While many of us would love to see Christopher Nolan do a James Bond movie, which he already kind of did with Tenet, his talents may be better utilized elsewhere. Screen Rant takes a look at why his The Prisoner remake would be more satisfying than another Bond movie. It's true. According to Variety, Nolan's next work could be a remake of the 1960s mystery show The Prisoner. This, of course, is very exciting for many reasons, one of them being that it opens the door for another Nolan film franchise. Running from September of 1967 to January of 1968, the show created and starring Patrick McGugan released a total of 17 episodes, leaving plenty of room for not only one, but potentially several films. Furthermore, Knowing could write new material to continue the story. Additionally, this type of series is a much better fit than James Bond, because it has exactly the right themes and elements to be a perfect fit for Christopher Nolan. While Nolan could bring his own take to James Bond, he would likely have a lot of requirements placed on him when adapting the franchise. This is because Bond is such an iconic film series and property, and its owners are quite particular when it comes to how the special agent is represented on screen. In this way, Nolan would only be able to infuse so much creativity into the project, which could take away from the final product. On the other hand, The Prisoner would offer much more creative freedom. Though it has its roots in the 1967 television show, it isn't likely that there are strict rules holding the story back from being changed. In fact, The Prisoner might benefit from some changes, especially if it's being remade in the modern day. This is supported by the fact that the 2009 adaptation was not well received. If Nolan took on The Prisoner, he would revamp the beloved sci-fi series into something appropriate for the 2020s. Though it is unconfirmed whether Christopher Nolan will actually take on The Prisoner, it is definitely a good option for the Academy Award-winning director. That's all we got for you today. Screen Rant is signing off.